So, you want to learn how to hunt? Is that what I'm hearing? I know how to shoot a gun. It's a rifle, not a gun. I was in the 10th Mountain Cope. Don't give me any Marine Corps bullshit. Killing a buck's a little different than killing a man. Or a freak. The best way to hunt an animal is to track it. You gotta focus. And see what nature's trying to tell you. If you look hard enough, you'll see the signs. Well, okay then. Look hard. See this pile of deer scat? It's fresh. Yeah, I see it. They lead this way. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Well, come on then. Quick, there's your buck. <sighs> I see him. Now here, use my rifle. If you were in the 10th mountain, you know how to use a scope. Yeah, Cope, I know how to use a scope. Easy, easy. I got this. Got him! Can I kill shot? Oh, God damn it! it wasn't a kill shot. He got away. No, no, that's okay. You wounded him. He'll bleed out soon enough. We just gotta track him. Okay. See the blood spot? Look close. Yeah, I see him. Then follow him. All right. He'll be slowing down about now. Losing too much blood. We should be coming across his carcass any time now. Okay, you know how to gut an animal? Yeah, look, Cope, Boozer and I have been hunting before. He used to go elk hunting. Now, I'll take back that rifle. Here, thanks. Like I said, Deke, we can always use more venison at the camp. Still got some folks trying to heal up from that Ripper attack. Okay, Cope, yeah, I'll see if I can remember that. Keeping an eye on that gas tank. The one with the custom paint job you've been asking about. Hey, Manny. I'll wrap that up for you. Cool. Need anything else?
Oh yeah, that's a good piece. Good choice, man. Good choice. This should last you for a while. We don't have the tools, dude. You know? I mean, ever. I'll wrap that up for you. Cool. Need anything else? All right. I really hate All right. Be seeing you. Yeah, see ya. Deacon. Damon. Nope. What? Not enough credits? Thanks. Oh, Jesus, Deke. You hear what's happening? Black choppers. The feds are still flying. Can you believe that shit? Wait, what? What are you talking about? No, Cope won't shut up about it. He says it proves what he has been saying from the start, that the feds are behind this whole mess. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Hey, thanks. I'll, uh, see you later. Hey, well, talk to you later. That's all I got. What's up? What's up? How's it going, D? Manny, what's going on? Oh yeah, that's a good piece. Yeah, it is hard to find fuel out there. Okay, man. No, no, I'll keep an eye out for more shit. See you around, man. Just a sec. Gotta open the gate. How's it going, booze man? Fine, goddammit. Hey, Deke, we're getting low on supplies. We can do some more meat if you get a chance. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, I guess it's been a while since we did any hunting. I'll see if I can scare up some meat while I'm out. Yeah, I had Cope give me a few pointers, believe it or not. Oh, shit, I don't believe it. Oh, thanks, Dad. See you, Boom Man. Right, now I just gotta find some meat. churn out. Everything in the last 50 years was built to break, so that you could buy once, buy again, 
buy, buy, buy. You always had to get the new car, the new phone, the new this and that. All to feed the beast of crass commercialism. You want something built to last? Hey, you couldn't go overseas, nope. You need real, hard-working Americans at the helm. When we build something, we'll stand the test of time. And the same hands that built this country, they'll withstand anything this new world throws at us. Our roads bend, friends, but they do not break. And neither will we. This is Mark Copeland from Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. They look pretty broken in mini coat, but hey, whatever you say. Ain't nothing wrong. before your job's done. I'm not, not the doctor. I keep telling you that. Sorry, Lieutenant O'Brien. How long are we going to be here? This way, you poor son of a bitch. At least you weren't torn apart by freaks. If you lived a few more weeks, you might have become one yourself. Now, what had happened? Something. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Uh -uh. uh -uh. uh -uh. Stay back. I just want to talk. Uh, Nero Protocol 2-7 states clearly that uh, if conducting operations in quarantine zones, that if I encounter any civilians or some... Sub Civilians that I'm forbidden from making contact. Really? See, that sounded to me like making contact. Yes. Yes, it did. You're alive. Yes. I am. How? How are you alive? What? I, I, I don't understand. Okay. You were there that night. Farewell. 
Excellent. Mural Protocol 2 7 states. Burning. Everyone was dead. Two they were slaughtered, seven. torn limb Mural from goddamn limb. Protocol All right, listen up. We're going to do this the easy way or the hard way. The easy way, we have a little chat. You give me the information that I need, and then you go back to digging your way through freaker shit or whatever the hell is you're doing out here. The hard way. I crack open that little spacesuit, and then we see what your friends out there have to say about you breathing in all this contaminated air. So what's it going to be, O'Brien? <laughs> Yes? Okay? Okay? You remember the rooftop of the old brewery? I put a woman on your chopper, she was wounded. Yes. I remember. A, a knife wound. She, she was cut pretty bad. I went to the refugee camp that you said you were taking her to. Everyone was dead, so I'm gonna ask you again. How did you survive? We weren't there. We were diverted south to another camp. Like you said, the camp in Belknap was overrun, so they moved us south to a camp outside of Silver Lake. Where are there survivors? You mean now? I don't know. I, I was transferred to the research unit. Did she survive? Oh, wait, 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 wait. I, 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 I can find out. I, I can check. You, you have one of our radios. That's how you... Uh, I, I can't promise anything, but... I'll check. Uh -huh, and I'm gonna go with you. No, you, you can't. Please, you don't. Hey, you don't understand. I'll fucking shoot you. Not before I shoot you. Okay, look, if you're gonna fucking kill me, do it, okay? I did my job. Did the woman, your wife? I put her on oxygen. I gave her an IV. I kept her alive. I got in a lot of trouble for that. She was septic. She wasn't gonna make it, but I got out of the mass unit. I saved her goddamn life. to go. Please, uh, you have to get out of here. You don't know these men. You don't know Ryan, what they're capable of. If I don't hear from you, I don't care how long it takes, I'm going to track you down. And I'm going to do a lot worse than snap off an antenna. I'm sorry about your wife. But you're not the only one who lost someone that night. alive. How the hell is he alive? They were diverted south. He said that he put her on oxygen. He gave her an IV. He kept her alive. She was septic, so she wasn't going to make it, but he got her to a mesh unit. He saved her life. He said it. He said he saved her life. She, she can still be... She... No, no, no. No, no. But O'Brien is alive. If he is, then maybe... Blues man, um, a few days ago, I asked you if you remembered that Nero asshole, O'Brien. Uh, yeah, Deke, it's, it's all uh, kind of a blur. Yeah, yeah, okay, get some shut eye, booze man, I will tell you about it later. <sighs> when are we riding out of here, yeah, Deke? Doesn't look too bad. Oh, <laughs> poor bastards had anything worth looking for. use this.
key. Let's take a look around. This is it. One of the camps can use this. Hey, booze man, I brought in some meat. Should keep us stocked up for a while. Hey, Deke, thanks, man. I'm not real hungry right now. I'll, I'll salt it up in a bit. Says, I hear a bunk calling my name. 